$34,000 garage doors. I'm excited to see what we learned today. But uh, Stradman's back, right? We saw the crazy car video I did. You can go check that out uh, to see if having an exotic car makes sense for you. But today's about this crazy home he built. Um, I'm excited to see what we see. We've got a $34,000 garage door, so already... Uh, I don't know that I love it. That's crazy. It's cool. I will tell you, as much as I'm probably going to hate what the Stradman has to say, this guy's energy, if we could bottle up and sell it, it might actually be worth uh, enough money to have him justify this house. But let's find out the different costs to build your dream home. Enjoy today's video. Looking at this list, there are so many items to go through. It gives me a massive migraine. So before we could build the house, we had to design the house. Design and engineering was $22,000. Then the city had to approve the design. We had to get a building permit. The permit loan was $32,613. For the design for 28, building for 32, the permits, those permit fees are high, but that could be driven by the city or county. Uh, those design costs are actually pretty reasonable. You're going to have costs like that when you go to design and build a home. So that's all pretty standard and not crazy out of line. That's going to be also based on size of home, right? The bigger the home, the more design, the more complex, smaller the home, less design. So you could move, those costs could move depending on size and scope of the home. Once construction started, we had to excavate the land. The excavation, $65,267.52. The original budget for this house was just under $2 million. And as you can see, unfortunately, we weren't very close to hitting budget. And now we... So with the excavating cost of 65000 most people won't have that. Let's see how far off is he on the budget. He thought it was going to $2 billion. What's your guess? What do you think he went over budget as a percentage? We're going to find out by the end of this video. We could chit-chat all day long about a bunch of the nonsense items. $1,000 here, $1,000 there. But I think we need to jump straight into the big boys. The second biggest line item is concrete. I'm talking foundation, foundation walls, foundation floor, suspended slab, all of the concrete excluding the driveway. This number does not include the driveway. We spent a grand total of $211,536.03 on concrete. I love concrete. You guys love concrete. I'm pro concrete. Like everybody loves concrete to the tune of $211,000. I love concrete too, but I don't love $211,000 on something that doesn't cash flow or pay me or do something really cool in the ocean. And so I, I've, I've seen a lot of houses. I've poured a lot of pads and I think that's crazy. And that's going to be, I think we're going to find out why we have all those costs a little later, but that was a significant amount of concrete that would not be the case on a lot of homes. Now the biggest line item on the house makes concrete feel cheap. The biggest line item, of course, is lumber. You guys know lumber. During the pandemic, lumber prices skyrocketed to an all-time high, and the absolute peak of lumber prices was the exact moment that yours truly was framing his house. The original bid, labor, materials, all the framing for the house lumber-wise was going to be $250,000. I spent $474,286.05, so lumber was nearly double the original bid. I love lumber, and I spent nearly half a million dollars to prove it to you guys. And on that bombshell, today's video has been sponsored by Anchor. So what I'll tell you on framing and lumber, so interesting, you can contract lumber prices and you could have probably placed a contract here to lock in your pricing. I too built a property in COVID, but I had the bids and the prices from 2019. And so I locked in my prices. Now I went in to build the property in COVID and lumber skyrocketed. I still had the prior cost. So the $270,000 estimate, had he contracted correctly, he could have landed at the actual number. That's just a contract issue that had fluctuating prices as opposed to locked in pricing. So the concrete for the driveway was $46,850. I'm as excited as he is to run up there. Wasn't that exciting? A uh, driveway of 46,000 is not bad. I just, sorry, I just got excited because he got excited. So this dumpster cost me $7,500. Trash storage. Who knew it was such a lucrative? We're good. Who knew it was such a lucrative business? So I always to be clear, that dumpster was for all the dumpsters, right? Not one dumpster. It would be all of the dumpsters were the $7,000. Over the course of the project, that actually can make sense. I was telling you guys how much I love red brick. I spent $74,450 on just red brick. I knew I loved it, but I didn't realize I loved it that much. So an alternative there could have been doing a similar material that he has above in a different color. So there's different choice of materials. So anytime you're building a home, you've got choices of materials. I did a massive remodel of my house in COVID. And he is right that every item is $1,000, $2,000, $5,000, $10,000. dollars there's lots of those. But there are major decisions that have great aesthetic value. I happen to love brick. I think it looks awesome. But things like that, there's cheaper ways you could have done that if you wanted to price this and have a lower cost on the brick. 
I am physically exhausted. I have not ran this long in a very long time. So in the summertime, I want to be as chill as a cucumber. And in the wintertime, I want to be nice and toasty. I got four AC units over there. I got four more on that side of the house. HVAC, I spent $93,600. And five dollars. I haven't received my first utility bill, but I'm very, very nervous. I think it's gonna be expensive. So on light fixtures, I spent nineteen thousand six hundred and seventy dollars and five cents on light fixtures. They look great though, and I chose them out. Like I did a fantastic job. I did not hire an interior designer on this house because they're very expensive, and I want to save a bunch of money. So I hope you guys like my light fixtures. I might have should have hired uh, a designer. I mean, they're very expensive. Not when you're blowing the kind of money we're talking about here. So the right designer actually could spend a tremendous amount of more money. They could spend a lot less. Depends on the person, right? Sometimes when I was doing my house, for example, they wanted the floors, and I saw everything that was twenty dollars per square foot floors to forty dollars per square foot floors. And the floors that went in my home were $3.50 per square foot. And I gotta tell you, if you saw them, you wouldn't know the difference between those and the $20 ones. I've sold a couple billion dollars worth of real estate. No one's told me, wow, what is the cost of those floors before I buy this home? That's never come up. I spent $9,575 on gutters. Probably one of my favorite parts of the entire house is the windows, the magnitude, all the natural light they let into the house. I love these windows from Amsco. I spent 72. This is going to be expensive. $2,289.68 on windows, but it was well worth it. All of this black stuff, like right here and, and right here, and I'm pointing at absolutely nothing, is called soffit and fascia. I don't know what soffit is. I don't know what fascia is. I spent $33,475 on the soffit and fascia, which is there, there. So all the white and black areas on the exterior side of the house is called board and bat. I spent $27,691 on board and bat. I so the board and bat, if we saw that cost, assuming there's the same amount of brick, he could have saved about $50,000 by doing the board and bat all the way around as opposed to the brick. And my front door was $4,800. Oscar, $4,800. Best part of the video is that dog. It's a great dog. And this small door was six thousand nine hundred seventy-one dollars and thirty-eight cents. So the car elevator system was eighty-eight thousand three hundred and forty-five dollars, but that's just for the car elevator. The installation twenty-eight thousand six hundred and eighty-eight dollars. I spent nearly a hundred and twenty thousand dollars on a car elevator system, but I reckon it is the coolest part of the entire house by far. And that just proves you there's no shortage of ways to torch $100,000. And I think you'd be hard pressed. If you go on the internet in a home and you can find a better way to torch $100,000, please put the link in the video because I got to tell you, that is one of the stupidest things I have ever seen in my entire life. I mean, I, I thought I'd seen, I played a night golf tournament once and that was the stupidest thing I'd done. This is definitely the, why would you need an elevator? I've seen you. So you can store two cars. There's tons of options that are a fraction of the cost. It would look just as good. So just so you could stick your car underground where water leaks, that sounds awesome. And these mirrored shower doors were $13,708 for doors. And the carpet was $19,676. Now, if you're a kid and you're watching today's video, this is a disclaimer. Do not climb on your roof under any circumstances whatsoever. I do not want to get age restricted again. We have the shingles, we have the metal roof. Grand total, $45,000. And the plumbing was $42,421.24. This toilet has a heated toilet seat. And these window shades, $26,730. For some window shades, right? That is a very interesting choice. That will be the second dumbest part, will be the window shades for $26,000. And appliances, $15,000. So here's what's fascinating. This guy spent $100,000, and look at this refrigerator. I gotta go back, because this, so, this is so rich. We bought a refrigerator for $3,000 that doesn't even fit in the kitchen. It's not even countered up or built in. You would definitely put a Sub-Zero or a nicer panel fridge in a $3 million home, and yet we've got a fridge that looks like garbage. Now, you can definitely tell he didn't spend any money here. What would you rather have, an amazing-looking kitchen that's fully functional that you're going to use every single day, or a cool elevator that goes like this, like this, not even for humans, but for cars? Like, it's stuff, like, it's decisions like this that I'm totally, I just don't even understand. And appliances, $15,000. And cabinets and countertops, $89,529.
And steroids were $17,710. And this fireplace, $5,700. And steel was $74,000. And electrical was $51,639.14. I'm sorry about the echo. Hello! And I have a fence and a gate being installed for $30,940. And I have landscaping totaling $15,282.88. You're probably wondering, landscaping? Yes, I spent $15,000 on landscaping. Now here's the really interesting part. The $15,000 on, on landscaping does like zero, because in the beginning, this is a 1.7 acre lot. You could easily spend a couple hundred thousand dollars on the landscaping. So I'm curious, was the landscaping where we just take a little bit of rocks and we sprinkle them across the front yard and, and cover it about a half inch thick? I, I got to see what we're doing for fifteen grand. For fifteen thousand dollars. I am just completely exhausted right now. I have got to exercise more. Eventually, in the basement, we're going to add a gym, but that's a key notation. This is total cost as of today, October thirty first, twenty twenty two. The garage still has so much more to do. The back cave doesn't have electrical. The basement isn't finished. There's no landscaping at all. We still have so much to do here at the house. No landscaping at all. Yet we landscape for fifteen thousand. So we're going to see. That's where the three four hundred thousand dollars will come in. But up to date, this is total cost. So audio visual. $50,596.74. So there's two other key details that have to be mentioned, and that is construction interest on my construction loan. So I had my construction loan for about 18 months. I'm paying interest on that loan every single month. The grand total of construction interest, $55,852.74. That was just interest it's on the construction terrible. loan. Now that I have a traditional mortgage, I'm gonna be paying more interest on that same loan for 30 years. And then of course, another key detail is closing costs on the loan. Whenever you close a loan, there's all these associated costs. I would try to explain them, but I'm not a loan officer. Grand total, $31,536.74. So on interest and closing costs alone, I spent nearly $86,000. And then of course, quite possibly the most important expense of the entire project, the honey bucket out front, the porta potty that was here for 18 months, that cost me a grand total of $5,867.30. That is what a porta potty runs you for 18 months. And of course, the moment you guys have all been waiting for the grand total to build my dream house as of October 31st, Halloween of 2022, including the carpet, is $2,993,335.14. As I mentioned on the onset of today's video, the original budget for this house was sub $2 million. But with the pandemic, with COVID, like the price of raw materials, especially lumber, concrete, steel, like even paint, everything was so far elevated. Now, I'm not complaining at all. I try to be open and honest with you guys, and I've tried to do that since day one, since the day I bought my Gallardo. I so let's just be clear. He started out with a $2 million budget, of which we then did a lot of lunacy. We didn't contract it correctly, and then we ballooned it to $3 million. If he got to $3 million, and let's assume he put $600,000 down, and his payment over 30 years at 7.5% interest is $16,781.84. $16,781 a month plus tax insurance. This is a $20,000 per month house payment he's going to have, partly due to the times, partly due to the cost overruns. And there's a lot of things here that can be done differently. It's a really cool home. Stratman's a really cool dude. Again, when you're building a home, there's no shortage of ways that you could spend tens of thousands of dollars or hundreds of thousands of dollars on things, like putting in an elevator that takes a car up and down. Pretty cool house. I think there's better ways to do it. And I'll be curious what the final cost is. My guess is from right here, he spends another five or $700,000 in cash, finishing everything out in the garage, in the landscaping, put a pull in and all of that. So this is gonna be in a $3.7 million house. It's gonna have a $20,000, $30,000 a month house payment, which is super cool. I'd rather do a lot of different things and there's better ways to do it.